family. We're so glad you joined us today. It's always great when the family drops in because we're here in our at-home kitchen. And if you're not in the midst of all the prep for the holidays, man, you are really late. And I'd say, get busy. Let's go. Let's get shopping. Let's get cooking. Let's get baking. Whatever we got to do. Anyway, um, today we're going to do some party, some foods for a party and some ideas for a party. And um, I think it's nice if you can fit that into your schedule before the holiday. That's nice because that kind of drives you to get the house decorated, the cleaning done, and some things made. And then save that last few days before the holidays to really pull everything together for Christmas. But whatever it is, however you plan it, these are just some good ideas. If you're going to entertain a lot after Christmas, these will all work also. These will work all year long. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy them. Got some friends here with us like we did last week with the cookies. We got friends here today going to help us to make some of these finger foods, nibble nibbles, pick and choose, you know, just yummy, all good stuff. The other good stuff I want to talk to you about is look at this beautiful basket. This is a fruit basket. I hope you can, I don't think it's doing justice. This is the most beautiful prime fruit. We even have some caramel sauce in there, big pineapple. There's a beautiful basket. This is just one of the ideas from our friends at Jordan Banana Company. And I want to tell you that if you're looking for uh, a nice quick gift or a, a gift that means a lot um, to the person that would receive it, maybe needs some fruit, maybe needs something like this more than a scarf or gloves or whatever, why don't you give Jordans a call? There's the number, 412-469-1007. They'll deliver for you. They make, if you want to put cheese and crackers and stuff, nuts and stuff in it, they'll do that, candies. Call them and tell them, hey, I saw it on Arlene, on At Home with Arlene, and what price range do you have? They'll be glad to work with you. This is just one example, and I hope you'll enjoy uh, thinking of that as a gift idea. I think it's a great gift. All right. We're going to get started as soon as we do the hint. And when we come back, we'll be in the kitchen with Pam, Patty, and me. We'll see you in just a minute. Here's today's at-home hint. For holiday safety, please keep all dishes with mayonnaise refrigerated well before serving and after serving. Food poisoning is not something we want to deal with during the holidays. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, we're so glad you joined us today. And with me today is uh, Patty, who's always here. She's over there on the end. She's gonna be putting together a Texas sheet cake. And somebody new to the kitchen, yes. my friend Pam Rain. She's here today. She's gonna help us out. Like we had uh, Sue last week, I just thought, She's a, a cook, she's a baker, she's an entertainer. This would be fun. I'm glad you're here, Yes, Pam. I'm glad I'm here also. Well, thank you, thank you. It's nice to have friends in the kitchen. Thanks it's for nice to, me. Yeah, it's nice to have everybody pitching together. Okay, you're gonna make a Texas sheet cake yes. for a dessert. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. now this is not included in our, our newsletter this time because everybody has this recipe, but I just wanted her to put it together to show you how fast you can. And then, Pam, what are you making? I'm making cheesy spinach and bacon dip. Oh, that sounds good. Now, does that get baked in the oven or is that a... In the microwave, actually. Oh, okay, good. Yes. All right, Patty, get started. You right. get started. And I'm going to be over here making some stuff. Easy things, too. These are all easy, simple recipes that are not a challenge whatsoever. Now, mine are called brown sugar crackers. Okay, and Pam's going to give me a handle with this after she gets hers done. Because that goes in the microwave. That's wonderful. Yes, huh? that is. It frees up your oven. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay, these are Keebler crackers. You know those little club crackers? You take one of these. This is bacon. We just cut it in half. Take a half a slice of bacon and you wrap. This is so incredibly easy. I'm embarrassed to tell you how you do this. You just wrap a half a slice of bacon around the cracker like that. And then, this is brown sugar. You lay this on a foil-lined cookie sheet. And you just put brown sugar on the top of the bacon. Now, you don't want to bake these off right away. This goes the last minute, but they bake for 20 minutes. And you want to put a rack inside this pan so that the, brown, the 
bacon gets cooked well on the underside. Okay, tell us now what you've put in here so far. Okay, I've put the, you cube the Velveeta cheese into a one How half inch cubes. How much is that, a pound? Yes, a pound one of pound. Velveeta. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you place one 10 ounce package of frozen spinach, Shop thawed spinach. and drained. Okay. And then four ounces of cream cheese cut into cubes. Okay, so and that then, would be a half of that big package, would be yes. four ounces, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a can of the Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. And you don't drain it. You do not drain don't it. Don't drain it, right, because I and think I'll that moisture is what's going to help it to be nice and... Uh, yes. Ooh, that looks good, huh? It does. Makes and your mouth water. Mm -hmm. Eight slices of bacon, crumbled. Oh, jeez. And so it's already I'll just mix that fried in. It's that and crumbled. Simple, yes. I mean, that's it. That is it. And then and you then just put kidding. it in the microwave for five minutes. You're kidding. Well, that's my kind of dip recipe. So oh, I my will... goodness. What's not to like with the cheese? And, yes, it and you have delicious. to think, you know, there's spinach in there, so it is kind of good for you. It is healthy. It's, healthy. it's a healthy snack. <laughs> this is a good um, no tomatoes. carb diet. Yeah, yeah. and the tomatoes. That's right. Tomatoes so in there are healthy. Yeah, that's good. Sure. Okay, very good. So that, how long is that cook? Five minutes in the microwave. Five, okay. Well, then while that's cooking, then you can help me here. Sure. Okay. Patty, what are you doing over there? I melted the butter and water and um, cocoa. Okay. And then how much I cocoa? Said, it's quarter cup cocoa. So it's quarter not a cup. whole lot. Yeah, okay. But just enough to give it that chocolatey flavor. Sure. And then you just add two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, and... Um, teaspoon of baking soda and like a okay. half a teaspoon of salt and you don't use the mixer when I used no. to make that all the time I used to use a mixer all no. the time this is this that's why I like this because you don't have you to don't have to yeah do it all by hand and it's real easy and it mixes up real nice cool you okay know, fam and Arlene, I will help you thank and you then very you much add your sour cream okay which is a half a cup could you use a low fat sour cream with that have you ever done I don't that see why not yeah I haven't I think <laughs> if people I'm I mean, sure I don't know that you're doing that so much this time of the year, but I think if you have to be careful. I don't see why you couldn't. Sure. You know? Absolutely. And then all you do is dump the chocolate stuff into here. Pour it in, I should say. Yeah, pouring is better pouring than dumping. Pouring and dumping. Pouring. More professional, huh? That's right. I'm pouring. This is totally, we're totally professional here, Patty. Totally Remember that at all times. And then you just stir it all up. Okay. Now, if then I could stir it all up and not wear it, that'll be something. Yeah, really. True. <laughs> okay. But it's real easy. And then you just spray your jelly roll pan and you bake it for 10 to 15 minutes. Or about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15, 20 what tops. 350. Really? And then as soon as you pull it out, which is really cool, you ice it. When it's still warm. When it's warm, still yeah. warm. And you got your whole dessert made in less than a half hour. I know. And I, the clean up and everything it. is ready to roll. And it's, and it's Sam, so did you ever make good. That? I did not. My mother-in-law used to make that, and it was you? really it's good. Yeah, it's the easiest dessert, and it's so yummy and fudgy, and oh, it is. That, and you know what? That's something everybody likes because it kind of has a texture of a brownie, right. but it isn't quite a brownie. My aunt Marcia used to make this all the time for all our you mean family kids? things. Oh yeah, yeah, we loved it. Oh yeah. So when What's I make this, like? I think of her. You know? Sure. What's not to like? Yeah. Okay, as you can see, these are simple, easy. You know, the best thing I can tell you when you're having a party. Think ahead, plan ahead, prepare ahead, try to get as much done ahead of time as possible. Because if you're letting everything go to the last minute, you're going to have chaos, total, complete chaos. So plan ahead, get your platters out, do your linens, do your, all your uh, glassware, your plateware, whatever you're using. Get that done ahead of time because then you're not running to catch up the last two hours before the party starts you have people coming to the door and you're still saying oh my goodness where's those glasses or where those where's the cups i wanted to use that's what i do so, yeah I do same thing yeah too. i've been to pam's when she's uh <laughs> she's still preparing stuff even baking the cake when uh, you're yes. there to have the party but it's okay because you know what her cakes are worth waiting for <laughs> ask paul right yes Paul's paul. still waiting for one i have yes you owe him part. a chocolate cake this is true yeah. you know, anybody that preparing. knows paul knows that's what his favorite is now, what did you do? Just spray that pan? Just spray the pan. Okay. And then just pour this in. That's we it. have a little... Okay. That's good, Pam. You're doing good. We got a little uh, assembly line going here. And see how quick and easy that is. I mean, so make simple. a cake like that. Now, I know that there's even like peanut butter Texas sheet cakes. There's I'd white like to Texas try sheet that. cakes. I've had the white. I've never had the peanut butter. Yeah. But I'd love to try the peanut, peanut butter with the chocolate. Mm. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Yep, what's not to like, huh? No, that would be amazing. <laughs> what's not to like? I think that's 
variety. Now we're going to also be making some other things. The next segment, we're going to be making some things called hanky panks. Don't ask me. Hanky panks and jalapeno poppers. We're going to be back. We're taking a break. We come back. Patty's putting that in the oven. We'll be right back in just a minute. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, if you're just joining us, we're making party foods tonight. My friend Pam's here with us with uh, Patty. And uh, we got stuff going, everything, the microwaves going, we got stuff in the oven. And now we're starting round two with some more goodies. And Patty's gonna start making hanky panks. Right, and all I did first was take a pound of pork sausage and a pound of ground meat, browned it up real good. Okay. And while it's hot, you add your pound of Velveeta cheese, which is as easy to remember, everything's sure. a pound. Okay, and then she's mixing some, yep. this is a hot and spicy, that's hot sausage in there and too, the, right? And yeah, and then there's cayenne pepper. A couple of tablespoons, and, and a couple of tablespoons of red crushed, hot. Crushed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get that the fire engine, hot. get yeah. the fire extinguisher, okay. we're going yep. for all And then the all you do there. is cook it till it melts down and okay. spread it on party rye. And then you bake it in the oven too, right. after you put it on the party rye. And she also has a Texas sheet cake in the oven that'll be coming out. Pam, right. what are you going to make? I am making jalapeno poppers. Okay, in case of you don't know, this is a jalapeno. And Whatever. I am getting my gloves on. Yeah, you have to. Tell me what you just told me. I just did a bushel of hot peppers without gloves. Without gloves. And had to soak my hands, and it took about a good day and a half to, to get, get the off sting them. Yeah, oh, that's the worst feeling in the world. But these are already have been cleaned, and this is what you want. You want the membrane, and you want the seeds all out of it, because mm -hmm. that's where the heat is. It's not in this part, it's in that part. So we have about 12 here, 15 or so. You're going to make a stuffing off. for them. Yes. And then you're going to put them on your sheet. Okay. And then you're going to bake them in the oven. So she's got hers going. She's got hers going. And I'm going to make you something over here. I think this is, and this is something that I thought one night I was laying in bed. I thought, oh, this would be awesome. It just popped in my mind. You take a cucumber and, you know, those big, long Chinese ones or the regular one. You cut it in lengths about an inch, inch and a half. Then you take a melon baller. Patty, is the melon baller over here? Do we have the melon baller here? I think it's in, I it's know, in this drawer. No, it's right over here. Okay. I just wanted to show that. I forgot to save one to show you. You take your melon baller. There you go. Thanks, dear. You're welcome. And that's this end. And you just go in and take the seeds out, not clear the bottom. You don't want to go clear the bottom, just the top. Take it out, scoop it out. And then you turn these upside down and let the water, the moisture, drain out of them. That's what we've done here. We've got a few of these going. Now I'm going to make a stuffing that goes in there or a filling. I was thinking, you know what we like so much is the cream cucumbers. Everybody likes them when we make them. Why not make them and fill the cucumber with that cream filling? This is a finger food. You don't have to have a fork. You don't have to have a knife. You don't have to have a spoon. You just have to have the cup. So I have my mayonnaise here. I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to add some cider vinegar. Sweet, then makes it sour. A little bit of salt. Don't want to go crazy. Okay. And here, you know, we usually have chunks of onion in that. Since we don't want chunks of onion, we just grated some onion. And I'm not going to use the juice. I'm just going to use some of the pulp because it was finely minced. Just like that. Maybe I will use just a nip of the onion juice. Okay. And... We're going to put, to go with our, with our uh, salt, we're going to use some freshly ground black pepper. How's that looking over there? It's looking good. You have to have all your things. They need to be at room temperature so that so it mixes easy. Mixes nice, yeah. Absolutely. Patty, how are you doing yeah, over doing there? I'm doing good, and the cake just come out. Getting ready to ice oh, it. Oh, the cake come out good. Getting ready to ice that. That's good. And the cheese is melting. That's about done. Wonderful. And this icing was so simple. You did was melt some butter and milk and cocoa. cocoa. And then sugar. once that was done, you added your pound of powdered sugar, some nuts, vanilla. Jeez. And that was it. Put it in a saucepan and you're done. What else could one want, right? Uh -uh. This is so good. I okay. love these easy recipes. Yeah, yeah. see, that's, a, that's the whole thing. If you don't want to start out with a complicated recipe on a day when you're trying to have a party, 
If you haven't made it before, don't pick that day to make it. Make something you know that's going to fly and everybody's going to really enjoy. Now, what you have to do here is you really want to decide and taste this to see. Does it need sweet or does it need sour? What does it need? Mmm. Mmm. I think I'm going to go a little bit more sugar because I have quite a bit of that vinegar in there. But boy, is that good. Yum. Oh, and that onion's perked up in there. Delicious. Delicious. Then all we do, we have to make sure that these are all stirred well. Just gonna take your, like this, and we're gonna take our spoon, different spoon, and we're just gonna fill these up. I love it. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? That is cute. They're cute? Yes. They are cute, I like them. Well, you keep cute. them refrigerated. You have to keep them refrigerated. Okay. Now you have what? You beat up your eggs? I beat my eggs. I need the okay. jalapeno poppers, about 12. Okay. And um, I mix some extra sharp cheese, cream cheese, garlic powder, chipotle powder. Chipotle powder, that's got a little uh, tang to it, yes. right? Mm hmm Okay. And then I'm just gonna get my pan ready. I'm gonna fill my peppers. Good. Well, you got it together, girl. Pam is a great cook. She makes the best. We go to her house, they have a pool party, and we sit around and eat. <laughs> she makes, and she stays in the kitchen and fixes yes, and I fixes do. and fixes. <laughs> but so enjoyable. And so you're just going to stuff them with the cheese mixture. Right. And then you dip them in the egg. So you're doing like a, a batter. And then bread them. Wash to it. Yeah, yes. you're breading. And then you, okay. And then you have also the plain bread bread crumbs. Crumbs. Too. Yes. And then you put them on a baking sheet, and they bake what? 325 for about 30 minutes because yes. you want that pepper to cook and you want the cheese in there. You to want melt. that to really melt and get hot and bubbly. That's what makes them so good. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, Patty's still going over there with her hanky panks. Um, Let me show you yeah. the second thing I did was I took little cherry tomatoes, hollowed them out with the same thing with this, this little puppy, and then you turn them upside down, let them drain. I had some sour cream here. I have some dried basil. That's going in there to give it some flavor. We're gonna do some hot sauce here. Perking up stuff here with some hot sauce. Okay, and we have blue cheese. And we're just gonna crumble some blue cheese in here. That sounds and then good. that's Doesn't going. That sound wonderful? Yes. Yeah, that's going into our Can't tomatoes. Wait to try them. See, those are simple things you can do ahead of time. Stick them in the fridge and just leave them there. Well, it looks like we got everything going. Everything's still moving along. You know what? We're going to come back in just a minute. I hope we've given you some ideas. More than that, I hope that we're keeping our thoughts about the Lord during this season. And this is a celebration time. But we want to remember what we're celebrating, and that is that He is, thank God, born so that we could know Him as Savior. He came, He was born to die, but to celebrate His birth, okay? We'll be no. back in just a minute. Keep going, girls. We've got lots to do. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. No subscriptions. They're available online at no cost. And more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Well, I hope you got some ideas today because we certainly have had a great time, Pam and Patty, putting all this finger foods, delicious party foods together. Why don't we take a little tour around the table, okay? Pam, what did we make here first? Spinach cheesy bacon dip. Oh my goodness, look at that. All that in the microwave. Delicious. Look at that. It was oh, very simple. Good. And she just put some pretzel chips. You could do tortilla chips. You could do vegetables, whatever. And then next to it... Then we did our jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers served with a side of sour cream. Patty? Hanky pankies. Hanky pankies, and they're hotter than hanky panky, too. <laughs> the guys are all saying they're really hot, but you can tone that down. If you don't like real hot stuff, use mild sausage. Cut the spices to half if you need to. But there's, those are good. That's on the little party ride. Just bake them off 10 minutes. Next to that, those are my brown sugar crackers, and I'm telling you, we snitched on them. They are so unbelievably good, delicious. You want them to be crisp, the bacon to get crisp on them. 
And then I did the cukes and the pots down there, the cucumbers with that, uh, the dressing we usually put on cream cucumbers, there it is. And then we stuffed the little tomatoes with some blue cheese and sour cream, those are good. You have to keep people in mind that people can't eat some of the meats and things, so you want some vegetable options. And then what did we do? We added a nice cheese tray, and we added some vegetable tray, and then we brought out some cookies, patties, Texas cheat cake, and the cookies that we made on Mondays, the last time we had uh, our get together. Right. We did all kind of variety, so you want to bring a platter out then. And then of course, Patty made the Texas sheet cake today, and that always is a winner. We just have a little cheese ball, we've made a nice punch, and you have a party. You don't want to bring everything out at one time, or if you have duplicates of this, bake them off every hour or so, because you have people coming and going. You always want to have something nice and hot. I have something nice and hot, two good friends <laughs> that came to help us today, and you, be sure to join us the next time, because it just wouldn't be the same without you. Merry Christmas, we'll see you soon. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.